this guy is using 3D technology that doesn't require glasses, but it looks like this. What the fact? The facts and knowledge on 3D movies. Mindblow23 brought us a prize-winning 3D system. Five students from China created this four-sided 3D imaging system that uses four projectors to create the image. Sony's Ray Modeler prototype is a 360 degree auto stereoscopic display. Auto stereoscopic basically means the image can be seen as 3D without requiring glasses. Eight cameras capture 360 degrees of the subject and you can move and interact with it using a controller or your hand thanks to the gesture sensor. Stereoscopic images have been around since the mid 1800s. These stereograms were created by taking a picture with a camera featuring two lenses side by side about the distance of human eyes. The two 2D images were then presented in a Brewster viewer, such as this one, separately in each eye and combined in the brain to create depth. And that's basically how 3D images work. Two versions of the same image taken from slightly different distances, supplied separately to the eye and combined by your brain to create depth. The kinematoscope came along in 1861, which created stereo animation like this moving image of inventor Coleman Seller's sons. In 1903, Frederick Eugene Ives patented the parallax stereogram, which was auto stereoscopic and worked by using a fine grid of vertical lines that allows each eye to only see the strips of the image intended for it. This is known as the parallax barrier, and it's precisely how the Nintendo 3DS works. The 3D screen produces two slightly altered angles of the same image, and then uses a parallax barrier, so when you're looking at the game from the proper distance and angle, your right eye is blocked from the left image and your left eye is blocked from the right image, allowing you to combine the two separate images in your brain, creating depth. Sharp has dual directional LCD screens that use parallax barriers so a driver can use their GPS while the passenger watches a movie. 3D movies gain popularity thanks to advances in anaglyphic technology. These are images that typically require red and cyan lensed glasses. Each filtered colored image is intended for a single eye and the colored lenses filter and separate them. Modern 3D films use polarized light to make stereoscopic images. Typically two images are projected at the same time and the glasses you wear in the theater have polarized lenses that filters the light and allows you to combine the images into one, creating the 3D effect. Some 3D TVs utilize battery-powered active shutter glasses to achieve stereopsis. These glasses open and close each lens individually at 120 frames per second, which is undetectable to the human eye. And you can see how the image slightly moves along with each instance of the shuttering, which is exactly why Francois's eyes here are blinking to kind of manually create this effect. Computers have seen some success in 3D with monitors like this one from Planar and Nvidia's GeForce 3D Vision, which allows you to play games in 3D. Finally, for more information, find all the links below and check out the Stereoscopic 3D channel for a ton of 3D videos on YouTube. I'm gonna leave you with this guy. Who was he and what important 3D movie did he make? Before we go, here's last video's winner. And as always, thanks for watching.